got a start area here which is made mostly of playground set series including some horizontal and vertical rollers with seesaws and they've got then a maze to filter through this almost kind of octopus squid like shape that we've got going through here down the table and they've got to get themselves around this kind of mazy area avoiding pit traps and dead ends and loopbacks to get to this penultimate orange cell here and if they're lucky they'll get through and set off these three flags and get themselves to this winning cell here as you can see there's quite a lot of odds here the only way of getting out of this playground area is actually to go through this orange cell here which in itself has got some more made doors so although they can go in and i'm going to open this door when i get the bugs all buzzing then go in here and feed out many different directions each direction's got its own 50 50 then they've got themselves themselves stuck in the dead end here or if they're lucky they went to their left they'll be in here and then go another 50 50 another 50 50 into an area that themselves can only go two ways in and out so they could go back the way they came or they could go down here getting down here they've got a one in three to either go back the way they came back to the beginning or if they're lucky one final 50 50 dead end roundabout waste a lot of time in there or left here into this final hex cell they can't go straight on because i've got a pin lug right in the middle here so if they again bounce around here they've got one in three of them going back back to the beginning or win so quite rare odds but of course the other side is all dead end traps roundabouts that occupy and spend a lot of their time going around in circles until either they get themselves out or their friends knock them out and perhaps even exchange their place and themselves go around forever so we're going to get this hex bug maze going you're going to see all these guys running i've got about 70 odd bugs in here any batteries that fail or guys that fall on the floor they're out let's see whether we can get a v2 winner Okay, I'm going to just start them all off and then we're going to go straight back to the maze. Okay, I've actually moved a couple of more maze flaps that were here. I'm now going to just open the doors, free up this playground area, make sure these guys are flowing, and let's see how we go. Okay, so there's three ways into the start area. Try to hear the guys on the side. I'm going to just jostle them around a little bit to make sure that the uh, majority of pieces are standing up. The V2 is sometimes a little bit awkward around the playground pieces, so I'm going to keep them free because when they fall this side, because these guys, the V2s, have got spines on their backs, legs on their backs, they can sometimes cause problems where they're being pushed by a friendly nano against the, uh, the shape of the back, they don't actually clear. So there's a bit of a disadvantage with the V2s with playground pieces, but absolutely they can and do. I'm going to grab one guy just to demonstrate my V2 guy. Come on, go straight for me, please. They absolutely can. Now he might have to take a little while rolling under the horizontal roller. They do find that hard. There's a V1 heading straight for him. And there's a die in the way. But as you can see, the V2s absolutely can play with the playground pieces. They're only disadvantage if they're on the side. They can get themselves with their legs a little bit caught. Okay, so feeding through at the beginning. We saw a few bugs and they've all managed to leave and go the wrong way. Only one bug has even managed to get himself into the maze itself. And uh, this is absolutely because it's a difficult maze. So the idea of the playground is to stall them. Any bugs that come out, I will put back to the beginning. It is absolutely to stall them, distract them with the playground pieces. I don't want too many guys on the floor. I've already had a couple of four on the floor just doing the setup. But the idea is that these guys get through to the orange cell and from there they've then got to feed through. And there are two rice which is to encourage that kind of flow. And if the guys can't solve that, then they're not real maze solvers. This is a very complicated setup. We've got lots of dead ends and we've got lots of distractions. Any of the guys that get flat batteries will be taken out and popped in the middle of the table. They've got all kinds of different stages of battery power, so absolutely I expect we didn't quite make the floor, so I'll put them back in. I absolutely expect some to go dead. And if I see them stopping vibrating, I'll take them out of the way because some of them will just obscure and block the flow. We've got two bugs going through the uh, horizontal roller there, that ain't gonna happen. They're not quite wide enough because the actual orange drum has got a slight rim on the edges and that rim prevents too many bugs going through. Okay, so we've got a green and grey bug here. And if he finds this exit here, he's actually on his way and he's, he must be listening, I've got to keep quiet here, I'm giving away the secret to the maze. So he's now already into the right kind of area. If he goes one in three, <laughs> he's gone one in three in the right direction. Luckily, so we didn't get too much of an early win. We've got ourselves a trapped bug, but he's close to the exit. So he's actually in a good position there. He's, he's going to be caught on there for quite a while until someone else comes and helps him, but he's in a good position. And from this cell, uh, one and three, back three came, one and three, back to the beginning, one and three, onto the final wide splitter. 
and that orange cell is the penultimate cell where again you've got a one in three chance of winning going back to the beginning or going back to where he came from. So I'm going to keep an eye on him because he's very close to the end here, the end there. These V2s all together not getting on so well again, got some of that log jams here and I don't want them all falling out with water lane. So let's uh, just sort this out a little bit as well. They all want to go for some reason around the loop about. Let's just pop them back in the middle, back into the orange cell and they can find their way through. Obviously because it was occupied, there's no way they're going to drive back into the playground position, so I'll have them just to jostle around randomly and find their own way there. Okay, we've got a few bugs that have got very, very low battery power, and they're uh, probably not going to do itself right, but I don't want them too much in the way either. Now this loop back here, I'm just letting the red guy, the red guy go around, is the only join point from the left far side of the table to the front right side of the table from the camera's position. So any bug that goes down that side really hasn't got a chance. And then you'd have to go back to the orange cell to go back into the playground area or possibly go back into the playground area. Or if they find this loop back and they turn this way, they then get into the near side, the closer side to me, where they've got a chance to get to these cells here and down to the end there. So it's quite rare. I've you know created a great a great big labyrinth for them to get lost in. But absolutely, it's doable. These guys are clever. We've already got another yellow bug in the right kind of area. He's already in the right kind of cell. Again, only 50-50. When he leaves his cell, does he go back to where he came from? Or does he find a way out? And, you know, let's keep an eye on him. That red guy, for example, came in, had a look around, missed that door, went back to where he came from. So we've now got a yellow-red hex bug coming to the right kind of position. Lots of one and three. Now, I've been awfully mean here. I've deliberately done this straight through as the Ride of shame back to the beginning. I don't want hex bugs that just go straight. They're not main soldiers, they are just running. Running straight is not for this game. These are main solver bugs, not raceway bugs. Now, I shouldn't, I've got to be careful because whenever I say these are not raceway bugs, the raceway bugs that are in here, and I mean that by the special bugs that come with the sets, get very annoyed and they then start charging around like crazy ones trying to find their way. Now then, the grey bug that was on the roundabout has freed himself, has come out, and he's got again one in three chance of going back to that Y split up to see whether he can get through to the end. Let's see how clever he is. Here we go, 50-50. He's gone left this time. Now then, how clever is he going to be? Could he be our first winner? Those pegs are there to stop him driving straight through. And certainly this guy was going around the edges. So he had a good chance here, but he's gone back again towards here. But he's twice avoided going back to the beginning. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Back to the beginning. What a shame. So we'll go through a one-way door. Same as you would have done if you went down the far line, back into the playground area, the beginning area. Now we've got a hex bug, raceway bug. But these are numbered bugs. There's only, they only come in red and blue. There's only those two colours. There's quite a few in this setup. I've got quite a few hex bug raceway nano sets, as you can imagine by these white splitters. And uh, they're in here. Quite a few. Not all of them. Let's see to the back. There's all kinds of spectators in the cases. I've got. Only somewhere between 60 and 70 bugs on the table at the moment. Too many, and I find the uh, playground area, none of them get a chance to run through here. I was hoping a little bit by now that more would have fed through down into the maze area. So I'm um, still rather congested in the start area. I was hoping to get three stuck here, three stuck here, three stuck here, on the roundabout, and to get 10 to 15 bugs lost in the maze at any one time. Now at the moment, what seems to be happening is quite a few go in, have a look around, but quite quickly, Go back into, this is a right mess, back into the playground area. Now this guy, I think there's a dead bug here, not him, no. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, it's probably just that V2 not standing up again. These are both ratio bugs, there's one and two. And we mean, but friendly at the same time, we send them the wrong way off that orange cell. But uh, they were just... Uh, kicking into action there, so they are the racial bugs I was talking about and I was putting down just earlier. He's pretty flat, that V2, I think he might be coming out soon. Have I got a flat bug in here? No, he's still going, just a little bit sedate. And all these V2s of course have been climbing, so uh, those guys have already come in here. And what I often do with the Hexbug V2 nanos is once they can't do any more climbing, because the batteries are just down below what they need to do with large vertical climbs, then I put them aside, 
I don't want to waste the battery power, the batteries are still good as you can see, they're still good for another couple of hours, solid, on the flat, they're just not, they're not at their peak. Now what that means, unless at the peak, V2 don't stand up for it as well, and so they need a little bit more help, so I'm helping them a little bit. Okay, one of my favourite pictures to lose, he's dead, dead battery, and there's the first one we've lost power to, and then we've got a couple on the floor, so uh, we're getting close down to 1460, 65, hex bugs probably in situ here. Just want to check these guys can overtake, come on guys. <laughs> they can do it, they're being awful today. Now there's some stress and strain in the setup here. It's not a perfectly comfortable setup. There's a non-parallel line, so if you actually look at the very front track and the back track, you can sort of see the way it's accentuated against my table. And that's because I've got the eyes with twice, which makes the build very complicated and very tricky. And there's a lot of pressure in some of these cells where they're actually much rather sit up high because uh, they don't quite settle down and don't quite touch. You can see this kind of offset here. And here I've got the odd inch or so and an odd angle that will prevent any normal connection. And what I do is a trick where I use lots of crap in a bendy kind of loopy fashion to allow me to apply a bit of gentle pressure. So over a bit of time, over a bit of distance, sorry, you can absolutely, there's another dead bug, you can absolutely put some special joins in as long as you've got a decent length of track to take the pressure. But it does stress your pieces. So I would never leave this set up on the table like this for more than the time we're actually using it to play. And I think that's just a bit of a tip for anyone that actually likes to build or copy these setups that I do here. Um, I think this is a particularly challenging one, as you can see. We're getting exactly what I expected. Very few of these guys able to get through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending a few of the guys up. The V2s can get stuck on these open areas here. So the construct system, fantastic. It was in the last editions Hexbug did to the V1 range. And I really like it because it lets you create these open areas that still integrate with track. Of course you can use large trays, dining room areas, you can put a surround around a table and buzz around but it allows you to control the flow with the sides. So a lot of different areas with Hexbug track previously was quite difficult. It's not impossible and it always has to be cell to cell to cell, which is absolutely fine, but the cell doors are only one Hexbug wide, the track being too wide, you do get some pinch points, and that kind of flow issue can cause a little bit of noise. Now then, this yellow and red, slow, slow pace battery, plodding along, Let's see what he does around here. He's doing some quite interesting turns. See, these slow power battery ones, they do these manoeuvres and skits where they don't even need to hit the walls to vibrate and turn around. They're doing it themselves. Unfortunately, he's going back to the uh, to whence he came. Doesn't mean he's out, but he can, again, go back again. But uh, that's what he's decided to do at this moment. Okay, this yellow guy is actually a V2. And he's the first V2 to have gone this far in this particular. That yellow red is going back again. And there's another V2 on the side that was blocking the flow there, so I've just taken him and put him back on his feet. So I'll do a little bit of writing for the guys just to help them rummage. I've mainly got to concentrate in the play area, but uh, let's just see how things go. Now I'm lucky with this yellow red, who was in this cell, chose the wrong direction, driving Shane back to the beginning. These guys close, but they picked the wrong way. This guy, this yellow and blue, another nice bug. Wow, straight away. Someone's told him the way. Maybe these guys are like honeybees and they communicate with each other. Unfortunately, he listened to the guy, the yellow and red guy that just came along here and went the wrong way. Maybe he thought that was the wind line. But however, let's see whether the high intelligence can uh, spread any real facts about the, uh, the maze and the solution here. Feeling some of these guys that I'm straightening now, putting on their feet, I can tell I've got quite a few low batteries, anything too flat. There we go, there's one, that's causing cool. some bother in there. And you two flat, and I'm going to just take out, because it's just unfair for the other guys, because it just completely creates jams. Now we've got a Halloween Hex Bug Nano V1 near the end there. Unfortunately, he's just gone the wrong way, and he's on his way back to either train. This V2 is having a try, but he's in the wrong area. I'm going to just sort these guys out, to be honest, they're all going to go back in the middle. There's enough obscure flow here. I mean, not to worry too much about where they go because they are going to most of the time head back into the uh, play area. I don't want these guys on the floor just yet, let's get them out of there. Now, interestingly, quite a lot of the guys have managed to find their way down here, so there's a bit of a white bias coming out of that orange first cell at the moment. This roundabout is nicely full, we've got a Hexbug Raceway Blue in there, 
but quite a clever guy. Now they've got to unfortunately back, there's no way, unless they're very clever to this devious wide loop back, which some do, don't get me wrong, some do do that. There's no way they're going to get to the right area. And if anything, that petrol blue buggy here had here, gone down here, there would have been a chance to get away from that melee that's been shearing down there. Okay, that's definitely a, a dead bug. There's four factory dead in this one. He was trapped. Must have killed these guys. Any of these guys on their side that are flat. They're getting there, they're getting there. So this one's turning into an absolute battery marathon as well. It's not just solving the maze, it's also getting there. I know what I've forgotten to do. And then it was motivating with some battery power. They need food. These guys need food. I was into the old 80s, 90s arcade game Gauntlet when I think about food for these guys. So I'm doing a lot of self-writing, getting them buzzing around a little bit, keeping an eye out for anyone that does a full run, that pink picture of none of you one didn't do too bad. Get this V2 on its speed again. Wait for the other guys to go. So we've got two grey V2s that are having a go. They're trying, but they're not getting too far. This blue bug, wrong way. Red and black bug got a chance, depending on how, they dip, 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 how this guy goes in the loop back. This red bug, again, got a chance to come back again. So let's watch those red and black bugs. These guys have got a chance. Black bugs come the right way. So we've got a black and a blue and the right, uh, a black bug in the right kind of direction. That blue bug's still trapped. Let's see what I'm going to do. This red bug's coming back again. He's definitely drawn to the right side. Now maybe this food being so close over here is confusing them, but that extra V2 is running out of juice. I can see him crawling to a halt. He's going slower than I've ever seen him. Let's see how well he does. So this black and yellow bug just doesn't seem to want to see this exit, does he? However, he's not gone back. He's definitely in the right area. Let's see how he solves that one cell. We've got these guys still trapped on their ground. A couple of them exchanged. Oh, just as I turn my attention away from the black and yellow, he's got himself through. Now let's see how he does at the final. Nope, he's through back to where he came from. So fine, he's he's still not sure where he's going. Gonna free up these guys. I think they've got another couple of flat batteries around here. That white guy would have almost gone all the way through, but he was blocked at the very end hurdle. This black and yellow guy really did it again. I, uh, I missed him. I was just tidying up in the playground area and he was down here. Obviously went the wrong way. Driver Shane back to the beginning. Now what have we got going on here? We've got a, a sort of raceway blue bug that's also managed to get him down in that area. Very, very flat back to going on there though. Not sure he's going to be racing for a while yet until he's got himself some battery power. Let's get these guys up the backs back on their feet. Let's just give a little helping hand. Especially ones that are blocking the guys that have got battery power in the exit point. There's a dead battery, there's a first flat and dead V2. Good, he will need a new battery before he starts climbing again. This guy in the back is just getting in the way. Oh, no, maybe he's trying to know what he's For a minute, I thought he stopped vibrating. So one of them is just sort of the order out a little bit. That's quite fun. Yeah, we'll get pushed to the left by um, heading this way and got pushed to go around. All depends on how strong that's part of it. It's a push of war, tug of war, however you want to see it. And uh, these guys, random, you can say, that's a 50-50 where you'd actually say the boss is going to go one of two ways. When they go back this way, they have to go back into itself. But you see them every now and then looping back and doing something they're not meant to do. We've got ourselves a white and black bug. Getting to the uh, one of the key cells here. Let's see what he does. And he's uh, having a look around, he's having a good sniff at all the exits now. But he's coming back to join the green and red in this area. One of the green, green and blue guys has just left. We've got a green and red, a black, and a white and black. And the green and red is now going for a, a, a nosy. So maybe he's a chat with that white bug. Hopefully he'll then try a different way. 50-50 though, he could uh, try, he was trying a different way, but he's gone back to the beginning. So he's uh, come back to the way he came from. That green bug is so flat, so I'm going to pull him out. He's just in the way now. Okay, we've got a lot of uh, noise going on here. We've got that white and black bug, unfortunately, that time went the wrong way. These guys are legitimately pushed out. Let's get these guys back on their feet. There's one V2 bug here, this white guy. 
we haven't really got a great deal. He's also flat as well. So like I said, I expected the VTs to be going quite flat because oh, that are in the red, went the wrong way. These two raceway bug number one, I can't be sure, they shouldn't do that, they should cooperate. We'll see up the rollers area here. We've got one blue raceway in the right kind of area. A petrol blue, still my favourite X-Pod colour. Perfect, look at that, and it's straight through from my finger. Can he find the right way or not, though? And then we have to stroll around there, and absolutely, he's now on his right way. What can he do near the end here? Unfortunately, he's a straight driver. Straight driving on, he's only going to get you back to the beginning. I want these guys to be seeking out a little bit more than that. Driving straight is not going to win you a maze. Okay, put a few more back on their feet. We've still got quite a collection here, caught in one of these small up roundabout areas. That's the idea of it. Nothing much coming through into this area at the moment. We've got a bit of a heat ho going on here. We've still only got this one V2 bug that's even trying to find the maze. Trying to solve the maze, I should say. That guy's on the totally flat that V2, the other pink V1 came to nudge him to help him along there. And that's really helped flow a little bit. Okay, we've got some stormers going on around. Again, the playground area, that's a V2, just seems to be stuck. This V2 is not going to get himself on his feet, so I'm going to help him. That blue's a little bit flat as well. This grey guy wants to, uh, to do the, the bridge route, but isn't able to. Again, all I'm doing is popping these guys on their feet. And if they're totally flat, they're coming out just to get out of the way. Bit of a jam going on here. Not quite sure how to clear it. I know a couple of these guys are going this way. 50-50. Again, we're going to go jam here. Trying to be fair, but at the same time, it's impossible to do so. To my side. And that guy's flat, and that's pretty much caused that area there. To jam. So he's out. He's still going. Just got pushed out. Let's grab him. Put him back to the beginning. All right, we've got a right jump back here. Let's get those guys go back in. Let's put him back cleanly. This pink V2, unless he gets nudged, just hasn't quite got enough juice to do much hunting or seeking around, has he? Nice light blue joining, that marine blue joining this blue hex bug raceway friend here. This Halloween bug really wants to do the full run and even push past the race we're there. Okay, that guy's flat as can be. Another V2 out of the race. We've got a guy that's been pushed out. Halloween bug, these guys are pretty good. Some of the best, especially when they're wearing their uh, Halloween shroud, some of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. So if you look at some of my battle challenge wrestling matches, their tussles, you'll see that the Hex Bug Nano Halloween bug special, really the champion of that kind of skill. I've had a few win maze as well, so it's not that those guys can't do the all-round kind of uh, skill that they need to become champions in my maze setups. Again, another V2 bug that's gone completely flat. Like I say, they do a lot of climbing, so not a, not a, not under, it's totally understandable that their batteries are worn out already at this stage and possibly the v2 bugs vibrate more violently because as you saw in some of my v1 v2 raceway videos they're actually pretty fast and they've got new batteries and possibly they've actually got a little bit more oomph so they're uh, consuming that power from their same they've got the same battery cells after all so possibly it's cons they're consuming the power at a kind of higher rate okay we've got one white and black pixel Hex in the right cell here. Let's see when he goes down the single exit point. Whilst I quickly unjam a few other guys that are stuck. He's still got a chance. He's going back into our right area. He's going the right way now. Let's see. Okay, so it, he's slow. His battery is not fast by any means. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a shame. Live of shame back here. But he lost. He's driving back and he's going very slowly. His battery's waning. Let's just see whether I can tidy up the uh, start area quickly again. 
holding any other bugs that have gone flat and taking them out. Make sure these two guys are all flat and they're not pushing around. Guys that have got no oomph at all. And I'm blocking blocks. Okay, I missed this guy even getting there. So the green guy clearly got to the end and uh, gone the wrong way. When my the blue guy, oh my goodness, he's in the penultimate cell. Could we have our first winner? Keep an eye over there. He's dressing around those black pins that are deliberately distracting any flow. And we have our first winner. Now, Tibana says this is 20 minutes. And typically, although I like three winners, I always run a video to at least one winner. I honestly don't think any of these guys are even close to uh, getting a win. So I think that that petrol blue bug, I'm going to declare the winner. As you can see, it's exhausted a lot of my batteries, which is fantastic. So I get to do a nice battery change session now. Get all my V2 bugs climbing, and um, all I can say with the pepper blue bug winning, no one else is even close, no one here. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment.